The Pixel 8 comes with rounded edges and a comfortable shape. It's smaller than the Pixel 7, which is nice, but it's a bit thicker because of the camera bump on the back. It has a great display called the Actua. It's super bright, even in sunlight, which is a big improvement from the Pixel 7. Everything looks sharp and colorful on its 6.2-inch screen. It's a win for outdoor use and watching HDR content. This device boasts a 50 megapixels main wide camera with advanced image processing. In addition, there's a 12 megapixels ultra wide camera with a wider field of view, allowing you to capture more in your shots. The 10.5 megapixels front camera is perfect for selfies and group photos. What sets the cameras apart are the AI driven features. There are few cool AI tools that analyzes group photos and uses generative AI to pick the best shot. This can be a lifesaver when someone blinks or looks awkward in the photo. You can even tap on faces and choose different poses. They can also manipulate your subjects and the background in creative ways. You can move elements, change the lighting, and even add or remove objects. Overall, this device produces excellent photos. In well-lit conditions, the colors are vivid and the details are sharp. When it comes to low light or indoor shots, the Pixel 8 is pretty good. It provides decent results, and with the help of night mode, you can capture great photos even in challenging lighting situations. The Pixel 8's AI isn't just for photos, it also enhances your videos. The Audio Magic Eraser feature removes background noise, allowing you to focus on what matters in your videos. It's a game changer for content creators or anyone who wants better audio quality in their videos. It comes with the Tensor G3 chip, and that does a bunch of cool things. It makes answering calls more human-like. It can summarize web pages, fix your spelling, and help you with your texts. The battery is 4,575 milliamper. It'll last you around 9 to 10 hours when you're browsing the web. Google promises 7 years of updates for the Pixel 8, which is awesome. Most phones get fewer updates. The Pixel 8 is a pretty solid phone. It looks cool, has a bright display, and its camera can do some cool tricks. It's not the fastest out there, and the battery life could be better. But it's future-proof with lots of updates. If you like a smaller, more affordable phone, this one's a good pick. Samsung Galaxy S23 FE looks like its expensive siblings, the Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus. It's got that premium vibe with a glass back, three distinct camera rings, and an aluminum frame. It's not the most compact phone out there, but I'm digging that minimalistic design. It's got that sweet IP68 water and dust resistance and the trusty USB-C port. On the front, we're looking at a 6.4-inch dynamic AMOLED display with FHD plus resolution. It's got a smooth 120 hertz refresh rate and Corning Gorilla Glass 5 for protection. It's got wide viewing angles, good visibility in the sun. Plus, those Dolby Atmos-powered stereo speakers bring some serious noise in a good way. This is where it gets interesting. The S23 FE packs a triple camera setup, a 50 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and an 8 megapixel telephoto. The telephoto used to be a superstar, but it's been dialed back to 3x optical zoom. But hey, it still does the job. Selfies are crisp with a 10 megapixel front camera. Pictures are detailed and vibrant, but there's a bit of oversaturation going on. In good light, it shines with sharpness and good exposure, but in low light, it's just okay. There's a 4NM Exynos 2200 chipset, giving you some serious power. It runs smooth as butter, no lags, and handles gaming like a champ. You've got two memory and storage options, 8 plus 128 gigabytes or 12 plus 256 gigabytes. Just remember, no micro SD card slot, so choose wisely. With a 4,500 milliampere battery, this thing keeps you going all day with regular use. It supports 25 watt charging. If you want a clean software experience with a good mix of features, the S23 FE is a solid choice.